Stamp Fam. My name is Joel Kelly, and today we're going to talk about control, or the illusion of control. But before we do that, I just wanted to give you just a brief update. It was a really, really good decision to go with uh, the plumber. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the previous video. Uh, it was a disaster. It was a total nightmare. It took the plumber a lot longer than it was supposed to. He had to cut things, move things, weld things. Uh, it, it was a lot of work. Also, I hope that you noticed I don't have any earphones. That's really good because I went to the Apple store and it looks like everything is good. And now you should be able to hear me without any issues. All right. So now on to the topic at hand. Control and illusion. So, um, I was talking to a friend last night and we were talking about, you know, uh, certain things that are going on in work and, and in his personal life and the different stuff. And uh, this person was really, really worried, constantly worried about um, what this other person thought or what's going on in the job or um, just in general, just worrying about things. And, and it's not good for your health for one, but another thing is that it's, you can't change it. Like you only can worry about today, really. You can't control tomorrow. You don't understand what tomorrow's going to bring. You don't know all the crazy things that are gonna happen. So you just got to be able to deal with the things today. And you've gotta be adaptable and sometimes they are going to be easy and sometimes they're going to be difficult. So uh, you just got to deal with them. But control is an illusion. If you think that you can control an individual, a situation, uh, you're wrong. So I'm going to tell you a little story. I'm going to bear it all a little bit and I'm going to talk to you about... Um, a situation that happened with me in business um, where I could not control it uh, in the situation. And what happened is I got really down about it. So uh, there was an individual um, that was, um, let's say a part of the business, we'll just say that for the better, uh, for the sake of the story, uh, that um, decided to do something that they felt was justified but what it ended up doing was damaging my business damaging credibility damaging a lot of different things which i shouldn't have had to deal with but i did that consequence that scaled from a bunch of different things and a lot of changes happened in a very short period of time now obviously at first it was down i was i was depressed and it was i was trying to figure out what i could do um, but at the same time, I could, I understood that I couldn't actually control the people, the other individuals, how they acted or anything. There really was no way to potentially avoid it unless I tried to micromanage and do a bunch of different things, which just isn't my style. Um, and because of that situation, this person decided to do something that was damaging. Um, now, where I look at it now is it was a good thing and a lot of really great stuff has ha uh, happened as a result of that, but I had to go through some rough times and I couldn't control the way people reacted. I couldn't control the way the team reacted. I couldn't control the way, uh, in general, I, I just couldn't control that. I couldn't control what was going to happen, how the clients were gonna respond. I couldn't control how uh, the relationships were going to be, nothing. All I could do is control my own actions and go for it and deal with what I had to deal with today and figure out, put out fires, talk with people and, and just own up. And what I did is I just faced it. I just hit it head on and I just said, you know what, this is, this is what's going on. Without tarnishing the other individual, uh, as you say, I'm not, I'm not bringing anyone's name into that or business, um, without doing anything to be dishonorable and put them down 
And having to look at it from both sides and understand. And there was a ton of growth for that. In fact, there was this process that I, you know, that I've been working on or whatever. And it really just helped me like I need to focus on something. So I really got down to it and, and built this, the, the Big Bam process. Like I finalized it after 10 years. So there is so much good that actually happened from this. But I had to just let it go. I had to only focus on what I actually could. And at first it was just more like for surviving, but now I'm positioned to thrive. I'm totally positioned in a different way. My mindset is completely changed. And I am not that same person that I was back then. And even though that was a really, really rough time, it was a good, like it was a really good thing. It was a negative experience with a positive outcome. And, and, and that's really, guys, what I want to try to share with you guys is, is that you can't control anything. You can control yourself to a point. But you can walk outside and boom, that's it. You're over. You could get in your vehicle, boom, it's over. You can get on a plane, boom, it's over. Go swimming, same thing. You never know how much time you have. So don't try to control those situations or whatever, or micromanage in my opinion, um, but allow them and, and watch them through that process. Have your boundaries, very important to have your boundaries, and um, to have your boundaries and, and then build and grow off of that. And man, I tell you, it's so much freeing. I don't have to worry about all those other things. I just need to worry about the troubles of today because they got enough trouble of them though, their own. Excuse me, that was really messed up, but you get what I'm saying. Guys, you can create the life you want. You can do it. It's going to take hard work. There's no easy button, and there's an individual journey that is there for you. That's what the Big Bam process is all about, and that's what Bam Create really is all about. It's about helping you achieve greatness that's already inside you. This is not one of those like, quote unquote, um, empowering, feel good, whatever. I mean, this is hard. This is dirty. This is, you got to face some things to grow. You've got to overcome some um, opportunities, you know, and you've got to make the best of those opportunities. You've got to reposition yourself potentially in the market. I mean, there was a lot of things that would happen through this educational process. But guys, it's worth it. It's changed people's lives. It's changed my life. Um, and now I just, I got peace. I, I'm totally a different person. And if I wouldn't have gone through this bad experience, if I really wouldn't have hit pretty close to rock bottom, and I'm not out of the woodwork yet in certain cases, but I wouldn't have the focus, the vision, the clarity that I have today. And I, I just really want to encourage you that this is for everyone. Everyone can have this and it is achievable. Anyway, guys, it's been a really long video. I've got a long drive ahead of me. I'm going to lay down for a few hours. I'm going to pop up and then I'm going to drive all the way over to BC. You guys are going to see some totally different scenery. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I'm excited. And uh, I appreciate it. I know this video went a little bit longer than usual, but I just want to encourage you guys um, to just let things go. Just let it go. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the other person. Don't worry about their actions. They'll get what's coming to them. You don't need to serve the vengeance on a platter or whatever. And just let it go. And, and your life is going to be a lot better, in my opinion. You can disagree, you can say, share with whatever you want, share your own story in the, in the comments if you'd like, uh, like, subscribe, whatever the YouTubers say. I'm still new to this whole concept. And you guys are awesome and create the life you want. Just, just go out there and do it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.